Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, me and Domino taking a little trip to the small town beside us to go grab a couple of little odds and ends at the old DG uh, this morning. It's a cold one this morning. It's about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock with the time change, 10 o'clock, and it's still 45 degrees. Came outside and there was uh, ice and stuff on the seat of the four-wheeler was not expecting that I guess that's why that guy told me not to plant my uh, grass seed until April the 1st because we're still going to get some frost here and there but Domino was itching for a ride it's been a couple of days since he's got to go on a little road trip so figure we run up town get a couple of supplies for dinner tonight um, I need a couple odds and end things I think I'm going to make some spaghetti some spaghetti and I don't have no noodles so, uh, also got a live tonight. Going to do that on come on homestead. But it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Beautiful, clear skies. I think it'll warm up pretty good today. We're supposed to have about two days of good. Um, weather before it rains. We're supposed to get like two inches on Thursday or something like that. Uh, bring y'all back turned around when the view gets a little better. But uh, I'm working on building uh, some chicken nesting boxes. My wrist has been hurting quite a bit. I actually took the brace off this morning for a little while just because I felt like I wasn't getting no the right uh, blood circulation in my hand. I slept with it last night, seeing if that makes a difference. Because I woke up yesterday morning and my hand was hurting a lot worse, like I slept on it wrong or something like that. So I wore my brace last night. So I'm giving it a little bit of a break with the brace and then I'm gonna put it back on whenever we get back from town here. And uh, I was gonna build the nesting boxes yesterday, but man, my hand was hurting so bad I didn't wanna hold a nail in, so. I gave my arm one more day of rest, but I'm going to try to get it on the nesting boxes today. I want to get those uh, knocked out, and then I can start focusing again on the tiny house and the cabin. Um, still want to paint the floors in the cabin, and I still want to get those other two windows and that barn door built for the tiny house. But I'm going to have to work around weather with that. I'll probably paint the floors of the cabin this week because I could do that indoors with it raining. Um, I can't really tear half my wall down and put two windows in with a uh, rain shower is supposed to happen just in case something uh, goes wrong or whatever and I can't, you know, get it all closed back up in time. So I'm going to wait until I at least got about three days, four days of good clear sunshine before I uh, tear the siding off the tiny house. <coughs> There's a view. There's the beautiful view this morning. Ain't that right, Domino? Mount Magazine is looking very clear and majestic this morning. I'm tired too. This new time change has messed me up a little bit. I was getting up before daylight, but now it's after daylight when I wake up. It's got me all messed up. Seems like my mornings are starting slower, which I don't like. Bring y'all back. Bring y'all back when we got something better to look at. What do you think about it, Domino? Yeah? You're just happy to be riding, ain't you? The goats had a wonderful field trip yesterday. Uh, I left them out most of the day. And the babies were all over the place with Chanel exploring. They never left their mama too far. And uh, they all got some nice, good green vegetation. They was all happy. It was funny after they got their evening feeding. Um, it wasn't like an 
hour later I drove by on the four wheeler and they're all just laying there, all fat and happy. They was like, ooh, we had a good day. But of course, Coco was already out this morning. All the other ones are still inside. I right, Coco. Coco's like, every day's a field trip for me. <laughs> that goat kills me, man. That goat kills me. But with the nesting boxes, I'm planning on just taking a bunch of random scrap uh, from Millen and the Tiny House Project and all of that and piecing them together one. I don't plan on spending no money on it. And uh, it's going to be pretty basic. I think I'm going to do a three nesting, a three kind of box, nesting box. Uh, the nesting boxes are going to be 12 inches deep, 12 inches wide, 12 inches tall. And uh, from what I've researched and stuff, that's a pretty good size that can fit all different size chickens and stuff. So we're going to get that done. I'm sure to turn out pretty cool. I uh, just don't know what it's going to look like yet. I was thinking about sloping the floors. I've been watching all these uh, chicken nest box videos. And uh, they got them where they slope the floor and the eggs roll back to the back where you can get them and to the front most of them roll to the front and that would work but that would mean i'd have to get in the chicken coop every time to collect the eggs and i'm wanting to do the actual reverse so i'm wondering if i can reverse it and make them roll towards the back i don't know i'm, I'm researching it either way i could put a lid on the outside and, and do it that way but I would like it to where the eggs would actually roll from up underneath the chickens so they can't go broody. And you can buy them, the front ones anyways, that I've seen. And they're not terribly expensive, but it's something that I think they can be built. So I'm going to play with that design a little bit and see if I can make it work. But I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Let's give it a shot. I got plenty of... Uh, old material I got some of that plywood from burning the walls in the kitchen I got some siding I got some old four by fours a bunch of scrap little pieces of two by fours I'm just gonna try to piece it together which will make it take a little bit longer to build but it'll be free to me um, just out of a uh, scrap wood that's why I have a scrap wood pile I am being careful whenever I'm picking stuff up out of the scrap wood pile right now because uh it is about time for them danger noodles to start crawling again, or slithering, I should say. And ain't nobody got time for no danger noodles. I know I don't. Don't like them at all. So I am being cautious of that. Uh, I do got to tackle the goat catastrophe, uh, lean to or temporary shed here soon because of the danger noodles will be coming out, and that is a great place for them to hide. And, uh, and I'm tired of not being able to even walk in there because there's so much stuff on the ground from where the goats climb the shelves and knock everything off the shelves. And uh, so I need to get the toolbox and stuff together in the patio well shed and then start organizing the tools and getting all of that situated as well. But that's like number three on the list. I got to get the painting done and the windows and the tiny house on the inside completely complete first before I take on that because that's going to be a time consuming project that's going to be something I kind of work on here and there in between projects I believe and in between bad weather just because it's going to be a lot of tedious uh, organizing and going through things and throwing things away and all of that but I will be happy to actually have a metal shed to put all of my tools and stuff in when it's all said and done that has doors that I can shut to where goats and stuff like that can't get in there. So it's definitely something I'm wanting to tackle here soon. It's just not huge on the priority list. I'm gonna call Mahindra today and check up on Uber and see what they have found. And then uh, I'm also going to call on the way back about at the tire shop about the motorcycle as well. And also I need to get some new tires ordered for the horse trailer over there in Oklahoma so I can go pick that up as well. So we got a lot to do today. And I, like I said, also got to go live at the end of the evening and uh, go hang out with you guys. Looking forward to that. 
It's crazy how fast Monday comes around. This year is cooking already. Cooking. But yeah, I think that's about it for today, guys. Don't really have a ton going on, but yet have a ton going on, if that makes any sense. I hope y'all's uh, Monday has started out great. I hope y'all have uh, ambitions to take a big step towards your goals this week. And also to help somebody out. Alright guys, I love every single one of y'all. And until we see each other again, come on, keep it real.